Did you know League has already received a balance patch? It's only been a week, so don't get taken by surprise and see this video through. What's up summoners? Hope the holidays are going well for you. My name is Crumbs and I'm here with another upcoming changes video for you. In it, we'll discuss the changes that are going live in the 1223B patch. Make sure to stay tuned because by the time you see this video, these changes are likely already implemented. We received a faster than normal update this time, so make sure to subscribe and ensure that you don't miss out on any important news like this. Now, let's start the changes. First off, let's run through the list of system changes. Riot is going on holiday break soon, so they want to ensure that we players can enjoy the game with less frustration and hopefully more fun. Jack Show the Protean is an item that's currently a hot topic. A bunch of different archetypes aside from tanks are building it at the moment. It's still a powerful item on the tankier champions it's designed for, but the fact that it's so versatile and objectively powerful has brought it to attention for countless players. We're gonna see its cost increase slightly and the maximum stacks lowered. This should make it feel much less like a finish this one item and win the game kind of a deal. I think this nerf is gonna have a pretty significant effect, but let's all keep an eye out on the meta to see how much this change impacts its relevance. Ravenous Hydra is another item that's up for nerfs. It's gonna have the stacks lost upon death increased and the cleave AD ratio reduced. This obviously makes the item less powerful than before, but the nerf feels necessary given how oppressive it currently feels on champions that can utilize it. Of course, this change also means that Tiamat will face a similar nerf with the cleave damage on it reduced as well. The system's change is covered, let's move on to champion balance next. While we normally categorize the changes by role, the near majority of this set of changes is gonna be for the jungle. Thus, to save you guys time, we'll just run through buffs, nerfs, and adjustments. The champion buff you can expect to see next patch is for Lux. Her E's AP ratio and Ultimate's AP ratio are gonna see some significant buffs. While she's previously felt a bit lackluster, I think things are changing moving forward. Especially in the late game, she's gonna be hitting a lot harder than before, and I wouldn't be surprised if she starts becoming more relevant in the meta. If not, she will at least become an impactful pick in mid and low elo. That's the only real winner for this patch, so let's actually move forward and talk about champion nerfs next. Starting with Hecarim nerfs, his Q's damage amplification is going to be reduced. Both the base as well as AD scaling percentage are taking hits, so he's definitely gonna feel noticeably less destructive next patch. Alongside item nerfs, Hecarim is definitely gonna feel the full force of this B patch. Lilia will have her passive and Q's base damage reduced. It's a straightforward nerf that'll make her a little weaker in regards to taking out tankier champions. Next on the list is Mordekaiser. He's receiving a bug fix that was providing him some unintended power and also having his W's shield reduced. Ramus is gonna have his tankiness reduced as well. Not surprising that's the direction that Riot is taking with these changes. His W's base armor and base MR are going to be reduced, while its cooldown will be increased by a second. The loss of resistances will hurt his jungle clear early on, but more importantly, lead to a pretty significant loss of tankiness later on. While the numbers might not seem that big, paired with a nerf to the cooldown, he's definitely gonna feel a lot less indestructible. Neela is receiving a bunch of changes. Her Q's AD ratio is being reduced, but the crit scaling on both damage and healing is increased. Also, Neela's ultimate AD ratio will be reduced significantly while its healing is also taking a hit. These nerfs will overall make her noticeably weaker and also force players to build crit to retain some of her current power. Finally, we have a nerf for Zed. He's gonna receive nerfs to his Q's damage, E's damage, and E's cooldown. The damage reduction is at all ranks for the two abilities, which will make him easier to lane against early. A little less power early means he'll also have a harder time picking up leads and snowballing. Finally, we have an upcoming champion adjustment for Udyr. This change isn't supposed to be an objective buff or nerf, but I think it'll definitely raise some opinions among Udyr mains. First, his W, E, and R mana costs are going to be reduced early on. His Q scaling percentage health damage will be lowered. In addition, the base damage will be reduced, but in compensation, it will have its flat damage ratio increased. His ultimate's base damage at later levels will also be increased. At the end of the day, this means Udyr will be a little weaker against tankier champions. 
That covers the upcoming changes for the 1223B patch. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and like always, feel free to share any thoughts you have in the comment section down below. Are there any changes you think Riot missed or any that you strongly disagree with? Let us know. Take care everyone, happy holidays, and as always, good luck on the rift.